a team from Queen of Rosary College in Onicha, Anambra State, defeated thousands of other teams from around the world earlier this month to win the Global Prize Award at the just-concluded Diamond Challenge Global Summit. The team of seven students won with their project called Queen's Forest Labs. It's a virtual learning app that lets students conduct science experiments. And two of the students, Sandra Mbafuli and Stephanie Anozi, are joining us this morning. Also, their principal, uh, Reverend Sister Maria Uwanko. Uh, good morning, uh, Sandra and Stephanie. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Ma. Good morning. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've done Nigeria proud. Well done. And I'm going to start with your project. Tell us, how did you think of the idea to pitch Queen Forest Labs? And what exactly does the app do? You know, sometime last, thank you very much for that very nice question. Sometime last year, there was an um, outbreak of the COVID-19, which brought about shutdown of the education sector. Schools were shut down and the learning process were channeled online via Zoom, WhatsApp and Telegram. But there was a problem. This platform couldn't offer practical session, especially to the science students, because for science students to understand science concept more better, they need the practical aspect. So our team, led by Master John Onibo, we conceived this idea, and this is was and this is how the Queen's Forest Lab came into existence. Wow. Right. Well, was it was it and difficult to put this uh, together? And how much work and time and efforts did it take uh, to create this? It wasn't that difficult because we've been working for months. Our master usually comes to teach us entrepreneurial skills and coding skills. So it's always much difficult and we have been working for it for months. So you went to the competition and you won the cash prize of 105,000 US dollars. Um, what yes, do you guys intend to do with this money? We intend to create the app more, to add more things that you know, it's kind of missing in the app so that it's going to be more fun and more engaging for students. Hmm. All right. And how did you find the competition? You, you competed alongside with other teams from other countries. You know, how did you see it, you know, the whole experience for you? Yeah. Um, at first, we were a bit nervous, you know, competing with the teams from China, USA. And then we were like, how are we going to emerge the first out of this thing? But as God had it, we became the, we became the, um, the, so, the, yes, top, we the, top, the, the top team out of all that team. There. Okay. And, and, uh, and we are very grateful to yeah, okay. So once again, congratulations. I know there's um, a, a lot of uh, work that still needs to be done. Uh, what more do you, you know, want to you know, achieve, you know, as this uh, is your foundation now? Do you think that there's other apps that you would like to also uh, get to work on? Okay, we're going to, you're still going to work on the physics lab and the biology lab. Because the, forest, the Queen's Forest Lab, it contains three laboratories. That is the physics lab, the chemistry lab and, and the, the biology, biology lab. lab. So the physics lab and the biology lab is still under construction now. The chemistry lab is, is already... Is already all right. Uh, congratulations. I, I want to know what your, your, um, how old you are and, you know, does this, you know, uh, the success that you've achieved here, does this mean that you very likely would go into uh, in, information technology, creation of more apps in the future? What do you want to be when you grow up? Okay, so I'm 17 years old, and Sandra here yeah, is also 17 years old. Wow. We did this, we engaged in this competition to acquire students to develop digital skills for the digital era of disruption that is going to have us yeah. skills because, as you can yes. see, the world, everything is going technology, everything is all about technology. The world is going global now and it's going technological. So, we just want to allow students to acquire these digital skills for the digital eruption that is going to take place very soon. And also to show the female gender that we are not meant to hide in the shadow of men. We are supposed to voice out our opinion. That is, we are natural solution providers made by God. <laughs> Fantastic. I, I really love that. I really love that. So I, I, I want also um, to hear from your, your Mesoma. colleague, Mesoma. I know Mesoma is there. Mesoma, good morning. Good morning, ma. All right, fantastic. So talking about the app, we apologize, yes. 
Fantastic. Makes a massive view now. So let's talk about the app. I've searched, you know, you know, the iOS and, uh, uh, and uh, Android platforms. I'm yet to find the Queen Forest Labs. So let us know how soon is this launching on, you know, platforms like, you know, you know, these platforms where people can download them. Or is that not the plan? Or do you intend to just, you know, uh, give this to schools for schools and students alone to access? What's the plan, you know, launching this mainstream? Okay, so our beta test has already been completed and we plan to launch the app very, very soon so that students can start to use it. Okay. okay. So, Ms. Right. Amar, yes, let's, let's get your thoughts, you know, about this and how you feel really about your success. Well, Diamond Challenge is like a dream come true for me. I think I'll, I'll be able to get here because I've always dreamed of being a software producer since since I can remember. And I joined this team, Team Queens Forest Labs, uh, at the age of 14, and I'm still 14 right now. And this makes me feel so happy for myself, my colleagues. Winning this is, is just amazing. And I'm happy that I can serve as a role model for all that girls out there. All right, let's also get you to you know, speak to other uh, young girls in the Southeast and across Nigeria. Um, there's also those who are struggling with not being able to go to school in certain parts of Nigeria. You know, is, is there words of encouragement that you would like to give them uh, as, as it stands? I, I think I'll leave that to uh, Stephanie to, to speak on. Okay, so to the girls out there that are still struggling with getting back to school, you just know that we have to persevere to the end because there is always a way. And you should also know that being a girl doesn't mean that you should always hide under the shadow of men. Because just as my colleague said, we are natural solution providers. So we should always know that even though we are girls, we should not always be, um, um, should I say, we should not always be too down or we should not let our spirit down. But we should also know that we are also people that are going to be good, going to bring our society to be good and to be better. Okay, so let's talk about your school, Queen of the Rosary College in Onicha. Um, about the support that you're getting from the school management, your principal, uh, we're talking about Reverend Sister Maria Nwankwo, the support you're getting from your school management, your teachers, you know, and uh, every other person that has mentored you, you know, leading up to the preparation for this competition that you won. Um, Sandra. Okay. First, okay, first of all, um, Queen of the Rosary College is a all is a all girls boarding Catholic school, and also it is a conducive is a a citadel, a citadel with enhanced serene atmosphere, conducive for molding young girls to attain high moral and academic excellence. For the support we are getting from our school, first from the proprietor, that is the Archbishop, he's really doing good in supporting us. That like he's he's, a, he's really encouraging us. Every time during the pastoral visits in our school, he encourages students by giving them scholarship award, and also that serves as, as inspiration to other students in the school who are not doing well because it enables them to to start up some as in to be. It enables them to 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 work harder basically to work hard in their age. Yes. to work harder in their education so as to meet up and get the scholarship award. And also for our principal, Sister Maria Chidjo Kewanko, she has been a very good mother to us. Uh, her words of advice and encouragement every morning at the assembly ground has kept us, has kept us moving and it has really helped us in our education life. All right. As you can see, the school has been doing in, in competition, both essay competition and and science competitions too. Well, well you know, a thousand five hundred naira cash prize is, you know, so some money. I hope that you guys uh, will get some of it to buy shawarma or something. Uh, dollars, dollars, I beg your pardon. At, at least uh, <laughs> they should buy uh, some uh, goodies for you. Well, uh, this is what I was asking earlier. Um, are you going to continue to be app developers, or does any of you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, you know, an engineer? W what's your uh, future looking like? Okay, our future for me, I want to be a, a medical doctor in the future. So I believe, as she said earlier, that this condition is for the girls out there that we for, to prepare themselves for the technological disruption that will be happening soon. You know, the world is going digital. All so right. 
we joined this competition to enable them also work and not only based on the education as okay uh, um i hope uh, we our okay. own but also on the technological aspect Okay, let, let's also hear from the other two. You know, we have a medical doctor in, in, in the waiting. What, what do you, the other two of you, what does Mesa One want to be? Software developer. So, <laughs> and um, Sandra, I believe, what do you want to be when you grow up? Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie, sorry. What does Stephanie want to be when she grows up? I want to oh, be a software developer. Oh, that's, that's Mesa One. I, I was hoping I can hear from Stephanie and Sandra. Uh, but thank you very much uh, to the three of you. Congratulations once again. And uh, congratulations also to your school and uh, the, uh, uh, the whole state you know, for bringing this home. Yes, fantastic work right there. Fantastic work. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see this. You know, young Nigerian girls and boys doing great things, you know, going out of the country, representing us and making us proud. And this is where we uh, call it a wrap of the show today. Yes. Many thanks for being with us here on The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. I am Annetta. Remember to catch up on any of the uh, parts of this uh, that you may have missed. Check us out on our uh, social media platforms at Plus TV Africa, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel. I am Osao Gye Ogbonwa. Bye.